Hey there, my name is Julie Fayfan Balzer, and today I'm going to show you how easy it is to take your stamps and turn them into drawings. If you're like me, you have a large collection of stamps, so one of the fun things you can do is you can take your stamps, and I'm just going to ink it up with a black ink pad, okay? Now you could use any color you wanted, but I just wanted something dark and clear that would really show when I scan it into my machine. And then I'm just taking a white piece of paper, and I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. Now you may notice that I've stamped it a couple times, and that's because I want to make sure that I get a really good impression. So once I've stamped it, I'm going to take my scanning mat, and I'm just going to go ahead and place the stamp image right into my scanning mat. Then I'm going to open the dust cover on the machine. I'm going to go ahead and load in the mat. From the home screen, I'm going to choose scan and scan to cut data. And it's in grayscale, and that's fine because I have a black and white image. And I'm simply going to press the start button. And it's going to go ahead and scan in those stamped images. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the second option, which is the one that scans inside and out. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab the red arrows. And I'm going to use them to simply select whichever is my favorite flower. Now you could, of course, scan all of them, but I really only need one of them. So once I'm happy with the scan, I'm going to go ahead and say Save. And I'm going to save it into the machine. And once that's saved, I'm going to say OK. And I'm done with this. I'm going to unload my scanning mat. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go home. So I just press the Home button, say OK. And here I am back at the beginning. So now if I go to Pattern, Save Data into the machine, and I know that this pattern is the very last thing that I saved into the machine. And there it is. Now I want you to watch the little red boxes. Can you see how they jump around? And really what that is, is that's because this file is made up of lots of little files. So what I actually need to do is I need to select all of the red boxes, say OK, and then I want to unify them. So now it's one single file. So now the real fun can begin. Because now I can make it as big as I want. OK, I can make there be two of them. And now you can see there's two. I can make it really, really tiny. I can release the aspect ratio so that maybe I just want to make it really, really wide or something for some reason. And I can play around with that to adjust it to exactly what I want. I can make there be a lot of them or a few, anything that I want here. Now, the next thing to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my regular mat remove the dust cover, and I just have a little black tag here. And I like using dark colored tags. I think they're kind of fun. And I'm just going to put it right down onto my mat, and I'm going to load that mat into the machine, just using the load button. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scan in the tag so that I can lay out my flowers so that they're going to sit perfectly on my tag. So there's my tag, and now I can go ahead and I can drag my flowers around. Now, I can take some time and I can rotate them if I want and figure out exactly how I want them placed. I can resize them so they're really big or really small. I can make there be a lot or a few. I can just have fun setting up whatever the composition is that I want there. Now, of course, you can also zoom in you know, and you can drag things around where you can really see them so that you can perfectly place it. And you can decide, you know, maybe you want a ton of flowers, maybe you only want a smattering of flowers, whatever it is to decorate your tag just the way that you want it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and maybe add a couple more. And then once I am satisfied with how it's all laid out, I'm going to be able to go ahead and draw it. So let me just play with these little flowers right here. Maybe bring this big one right in there. And then once you have the arrangement that you like, what I'm going to do is we're not going to cut we are going to draw. And that's really exciting. We're changing all of our stamp designs into designs that we can draw on print basically on all sorts of things. So I'm going to use the universal pen holder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a pen that I know I'll write on black. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to drop it right into there. Then I'm going to raise this up and over, kind of the opposite of a pill bottle to go ahead and lock that. I'm going to remove the height adjuster. I'm going to put this into the machine. 
I'm going to click it closed. I'm going to hit OK. And when it comes to the screen that asks me whether I want to cut or draw, I want to draw. I'm, I'm just going to hit start. And off to the races we go. Now that my tag's done, I'm going to go ahead and unload it from the machine. I'm simply going to peel my tag right off the mat and look at how cool that is. From a simple stamp into all sorts of drawn designs, you can pick any pen, any color, any surface, any size. Super duper easy. Thanks so much for watching. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at ballsdesigns.typepad.com and of course the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com.